So guys, this is Vilma. Now I didn't build this car, I'm just showing you around my new toy that I was lucky enough to purchase last week. Vilma's honestly one of the best built, not Vitara's but Suzuki's around and I'm going to show you why. So under here is what makes this car so cool. So this is a custom built Toyota housing, so it has 60 series Land Cruiser axle tubes and axles, but with a Hilux a shaved Hilux center at that grafted in. So you can see the axle housing is quite small and it's offset. Four link triangulated but still runs factory Victara coils and um, slightly extended shocks down there. Looks like it needs brake pads. It's okay. Now it runs a short Hilux double card and shaft. Sierra transfer case on this big cradle. Now if I can show you guys, see his flat pan underneath, it's quite amazing. So yep, and then up here, that's the Vitara transfer case, so it runs a short jack shaft. So basically it's double transfer, or twin transfer, sorry. The front output squeezes down the side there. It's a three link panard front end, and that link there goes dangerously close to that front shaft. It's quite amazingly well done. I believe it's a Hilux front end housing. And it's also got chromos in it. So basically chromos up front, full floating cruiser in the rear. The weak point has been proven to be transfer, but um, yeah, it'll be fine. Take note, all these cross members here, over there. Up in there, up in there, it's all bolts in. So this whole midsection of the car comes out when you need it to. Just look how well it's made. It's such a beautiful fit and it's taken hundreds of hits. I know that transfer case, not need oil in it no more. It just takes it. Now the inside of the car is a little bit molested, it's very messy, we just came back from wheeling obviously. Dual batteries down there, no back seats at the moment or anything like that, it's missing two windows. Pretty sure this window's perspex. Fairly confident it is. <laughs> uh, panels are a bit rough, just a little bit rough.
looking at. Um, there's a few little drive line issues. It needs more gearing. Like that low is just not low enough. Oh god, does it need an exhaust? And I'd like to take probably two inches out of the right height of it. It is just a bit too tall. It used to be a lot more stable. And like it's quite a little bit floppy now. Like you see the switch at the start where it lifted wheels. It wouldn't have done that before on tour. So actually here's a couple shots of it on tour even. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoy this content, give us a subscribe and a like. Apparently the algorithm likes that stuff and uh, I'll make you some more videos. Have a good one.